What's up everybody? This is Adam again with Adrenaline Cycles. We've got a quick little tech tip video for you guys today. Um, as you can see here, I'm sending a brand new 2021 Maverick X3 XRS. Um, this one we're getting ready to put together for a customer. Um, they got a lot of stuff going on it and they've had X3s before and they bought them from us and they want us to do a special tip or trick that we do, whatever you want to call it. I call it, um, you know, a, a tip, I guess. Uh, on the vent line and what I'm going to talk about is as you can see here I got my buddy the gas jug with me if you ever been riding around in your machine and you're going up a big hill and got a full tank of gas and you know passenger will probably smell it before the driver will but you'll catch just a big strong whiff of some fuel you know gas whatever you want to call it inside the cab especially if you're enclosed you got a window some side doors a back, a back glass you'll just get that smell I get it every now and then in my XMR and um, not a whole lot so i haven't done this trick on mine tip whatever you want to call it um, i just you know sniff the gas and keep on driving and probably not good for me but it's very rare it doesn't happen all the time it's just here and there if you get the smell of the gas inside the cab of your x3 this is what you can do and this is what's causing the problem and it's not hauling a gas can around with you neither all right guys we're here on the passenger side and we get rid of the gas jug because you shouldn't be hauling that around in your x3 anyway and you really don't want the smell of gas in your x3 um, and what that comes from is the tank vent line inside this machine is coming off the top of your fuel tank and gets tucked down into the panel here and um, it's probably about midway down so anytime the tank is really full and you get on the incline or your hard acceleration the fuel come out the vent line and then you'll get that smell inside the cab of gas. So to alleviate that problem, it's pretty much you take the screws out of your top dash cover panel here. So that'll come out of your way. And this is your vent line on your tank. It's exposed here. And um, I'll switch sides with Josh so you guys can see down in here what we're doing. All right, so, so me and Josh has switched spots here. So like I said, here's your, your vent line spout on top of your tank. And this is just the clear line that comes on there. Um, nothing special. We'll tag a part number down below because you will need some more of that. But it runs over into here. Like I said, it tucks down into this, you know, side cover. And I'll pull it back here and you can see where it goes into the frame rail with a little filter on it there to help keep water from coming back in or fuel from going out. Can you see that down in there, guys? You can see, uh, yeah, right there you can see the white filter. And then that goes into the frame rail, more tubing, just like up here, all the way down to the bottom. So what you're smelling is, is that when this gets on an angle, when it's full of fuel or hard acceleration, the fuel will splash out of this and then runs down into the bottom over here. That's hence you get the gas smell inside the cab. Now to fix that, it's pretty simple. Like I said, I'll tag a part number. Well, here, Josh can zoom in on it for everybody to see. And we keep this around the shop and this is this come out of our service manager's office because he's used to doing these he keeps it really close so you'll take this so you'll unplug your original you'll just pull it off there It'd be real easy so you don't break this you don't want to do that so just pull this off what we do a lot of times we'll just take a razor and cut that and then just fish it all the way out the whole old piece all right guys we're going to go in a little more depth here on how to run this hose to the front uh, like we showed you it's tucked down into the side here so what you need to do is like i said when you're pulling this off the tank up here don't try to pull it we just split it with a razor so you can pluck it off and then it just pulls out i done removed the filter off of it um, so that's out of the way i done run the new line and this we needed six feet to tuck down in through here go through the firewall and come out the front with the six feet we'll loop around the tank so we don't have no hard kinks or hard corners then we'll just push this back on here. Um, well, I'll have to text do that, but you get the idea. We'll just shove that up on there. And it's gonna be a super tight fit, guys, so the fumes don't leak around it here in the cab. So when you shove, shove it on here, you'll loop it around and you'll tuck it down into the firewall right here. You'll step over to the driver's side. And once you're over here, you'll just reach down underneath the dash, which you won't be able to see it, but here in the center, You'll see where all the wires come through. Let's see if Josh can show you right here. You see all the wires that come through? There'll be a little zip tie here. Your zip tie might be slack enough where you can feed the line through. 
or if not, you might have to cut it and then just put another zip tie back around to snug it back up. But this has all your wiring that's coming through, so like your fan, your smart lock, or whatever you got going on up here. So we fed it through the front here, and you, like I said, you don't have to take anything else loose. It just you'll see where all the wires come through, and you'll just shove the end through. So we'll come through here, we'll come back, put a zip tie here, and then Josh can go over to the corner here and show you where we mount it out up front. Uh, depending on the bumper and stuff you have, you know, we kind of secured it to radiator lines, and then it comes down here and we zip tied it around the frame and just got the little filtery stopper thing here so no water gets back in that way. And then it's just hanging down there. And this end we actually just reused because it was part of the white filter. So. That's pretty much it. It's not real in depth. It's not real hard. Doesn't take very many tools. And uh, like I said, five foot of, or six foot of clear style hose, the part number we give you, will get this done and be super easy to do. And you won't uh, have that gas smell in your cab anymore. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this tip helps you guys out and be safe on the trails.